This is problem 518 from Brigham and Houston's Fundamentals of Financial Management, Concise 10th Edition. Uh, this is a fairly simple example of calculating the present value of uneven cash flow streams. Now, because the payments are different at each period, 150, 450, 450, 450, 250, if those payments are the exact same amount each period, then we can use the, the traditional calculator type entries with number periods, rate, PV, FE, payment. Payment, though, assumes that each of the payments is exactly the same at each of the period. So we can't really use that here. But we, what we can use is Excel's NPV function. Now, NPV stands for uneven present value, and it's poorly named by the, uh, the Microsoft people, but it is what it is. So the NPV function gives you the present value of future cash flows, where the cash flows are uneven. The function looks like equals NPV open parens, type in the interest rate, and then all the payments or cash flows in those other periods. Oops. There we go. All right, so in keeping with how I like to do things, first of all, you do not need year zero, all right, because when you're using the NPV function in Excel, it doesn't use time zero, it only uses time one through, time, through N, okay, and you need the rate. Here are the problems given at a 5% discount rate. Okay, and it's the same for both of them. All right, so using the NPV function, we get the present value of those. Equals NPV, open parents, cover up the interest rate, comma, and then all the cash flows. As long as they're all in the same contiguous cells in a in a uh, in a single row, you'll get the 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 functional working. You'll get the correct answer. Okay. Now that this one's worth more. Now, if we were to take the present value of these at a zero, I'm going to actually flip these. Show you could do it. You can actually calculate this if all the numbers are in one column as well. All right, so the equals NPV open parents and then do the rate and then just cover up the cash flows for years one through five. Now, the second part of the problem is what if this is discounted at zero? Discounted at zero means that the present value of the cash flows is just the sum of the cash flows. If there's no discounting, then they're worth exactly the same amount as the, as the future values. Notice, though, that one of them is actually worth more. All right, this one's worth more, and that has to do with the timing of the cash flows. When you get the cash flows matters. And in some instances, the differences can be more pronounced than others, all right? But whatever you're going to do in there is just a pretty simple function. Set it up, set, set it up in Excel, and let Excel do the heavy lifting, okay? So that's the present value at 0%. That's the present value at 5%.